everyone, my name is Serena and in today's video we're going to be doing a budget with me for the third week in March. So that is March 20th through March 26th for me. And I did get my bi-weekly paycheck this past week. So I made $900.26 and 55 cents. So I'm going to round down, but we're going to figure out what we're going to stuff the first half today. And then whatever we don't stuff today, we'll stuff, you know, next week. So, I did get paid from Etsy as well. $13.56, but I decided to round up on my paycheck if it's close enough. If it's over 50 I probably will round up um, for Etsy just because I need more money in there. Usually for my full-time pay, I always round down. So, no worries about that. So, we're doing 14 from Etsy. And so, we're going to figure out what we're going to do this week today. So, um, a little bit about my phone bill. So, if you don't know, I did put $80 extra towards it because I was going to pay off installments, but that didn't really work out like I thought. So, it just added the $80 to my next bill for, like, a credit until, you know, that comes out. So, I'm just going to use that uh, money to pay for my phone. So, we're going to be stuffing less for my phone this month because I already have it in the bank basically or on my account and we're going to be stuffing more into my one month ahead so we can add that $80 back into my one month ahead if that makes sense uh whatever we're not all right we're going to stuff the same amount into phone but let's say today we do 30 then the rest of that I usually do about 50 so that $20 extra is going to go into month ahead so we can get that back to where it was at, if that makes more sense, hopefully. If not, I'm sorry, I do not know how to make it sound better. Um, it's just going to be a little bit confusing. So, with that being said, you kind of already know that I'm going to be stuffing $30 into my phone. Um, I usually do $50, so instead of... 50, I'm doing 30. So on my one month ahead, I'm going to put plus 20. So we're still doing 50. It's just I'm putting it here because I already have that 80 um, already in there in my account. So um, we're doing a 30. So I'm going to add 30. And then for Apple, let me see what I have in there. Apple, we need to have. 11 yes 11 more dollars in here i did unstuff some things so some things might be a little less than the last video is because i did unstuff unstuff some envelopes off camera so we need 11 and we have five six seven so if we have if we add five we can we'll go ahead and add five so that will be good enough we'll have a dollar extra but that dollar um will just go to another one so or my one month ahead as extra. So, yeah, we can do, we'll do five. Just so I don't really like using ones unless I have to. So, we'll do that. Um, and then crickets, we did actually unstuff. So, we have $3 left. And this $3, I'm actually going to move into my one month. So, my one month ahead will get that. So, Cricut, I'm going to do five so we can go ahead and get started for the next payment. So, that's fine. And then, my card buffer doesn't get anything. Okay, so one month ahead, it's going to get 20. And I usually stuff 20, so I'm giving it normal 20. Plus this 20 from my phone that I didn't put there. So that's 40. So we're going to do 40. If that makes sense. We're doing 40. And so also I'm going to be putting these three in here. So any kind of extra that we don't spend. I will put in my one month ahead to also help paying off installments a little faster. So. Um, my envelope, I usually put 10, so I'll continue to do that. Work lunch, I'm going to give 60. We do have, I think, $19 left over from the last week. 
but I'm just going to roll that over, except for the ones, obviously. Um, let's see, gas, I think I was doing 30 from now on. I think 30 every single week will be pretty good. Um, and we'll, unless it gets like way over 500, then I will, you know, not stuff as much that week. Uh, Starbucks has 20, but I do owe myself money, so I will give it 20. I hope I added all this correctly. I feel like I didn't, so let me go back to make sure. I don't think I did. No, I didn't. See, I'm moving too fast. Okay. So we have $200 we already stuffed, and I'm not going to do snacks or fun or anything. And then, buffer, I need $10 in, though. Because I do owe myself money. Oh. I think I owe myself $10, so that would be perfect. Since I always round up. So. I will do that. And then in my car, I do $30 a week. So we're just going to do its normal 30 How is that wrong? Did I minus 10 instead of plusing 10? I think I did that. Because we were at 200 before. And then add 10, that's 220. Yeah, okay. I just minus the 10 for some reason. All right. Student loans, we're going to do its normal 120. That was terrible. Okay, 120. Emergency, we do not stuff. Uh, medical, savings, or Roth. And travel today is going to be getting $66. I already did that. So this column has 426 because I do owe myself some money. Um, so yeah, I'm filming this video a little bit late after I went on the trip. So no, no, I'm filming the day after. So it is um, March 21st when I'm filming this and it's supposed to be done yesterday, but I had to go to work so I do owe myself $66 from my vacation so I'm just going to go ahead and stuff that in there and then next week it'll be empty because yeah I literally spent everything I had in travel so good thing I you know stuffed it early because I used it all <laughs> okay so birthdays normally gets 20 so I guess I'll do a 10 and I mean 20 a 10 in there and then Christmas gets 25, so we'll do a 25. Um, other holidays, I am doing five now. And I was thinking of doing extra in family vacations because it is, you know, coming up and seeing how I like spent a lot of my money on travel, I probably will spend some money. So I think for this week, I can put 40 instead of yeah that'll be fine five or six that's kind of a lot actually but we'll see how i how i how it adds up all right so let's see that's 10 plus 25 plus 5 plus 40 that's 80 plus 426 is 506 so um, we're going to budget out $506 from my pay and $14 from Etsy. So we should be stuffing next or this week. A uh, total of $520. Okay. And then we do not stuff this. Finder. Okay. So I made $14 on Etsy. Um, we do 30% of that towards taxes. It's $4.20, but I'm going to round down this time and do $4. We have plenty in there. So now we have $10 left. And then I'm going to do $5 in my emergency fund like I normally do. And then the rest I'm going to put in supplies and materials. Because it needs some money. I did unstuff some money from there as well so that should be good so we have 80 plus 14 which is 94 dollars in this column 
So 94 plus 426 equals 520, and that is what we have here. So that is good. And that is going to wrap up this budget with me. And I hope you stay tuned for the next video, which will be cash stuffing this amount, $520. If you did like this video, please leave me a like, a comment down below. And if you're already, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.